Okay, right, Trevor's. So, uh, low and slow didn't work with the last video. Wait a minute, need some light. Um, yeah, low and slow didn't work. Lots of views have said a little bit more amperage, a little bit more voltage. So, let's do that. And in the meantime, while that's doing that, I'm going to try and mount that without that joke up on the wall so I can get it out of the way. What do you reckon of that idea though? I mean, I know it's a joke and I did it as a Facebook or an Instagram post or whatever else. But that's with my power wall mount in there. Maybe I could put some different batteries in there. Maybe make a, a 24 volt battery and parallel it up with that battery there. I don't know. There's got to be something I can do with this, right? So anyways, let's get these batteries out. Also, I'd be interested to know if any of you would like to have a mini update. Now this mini is not the electric mini. This mini is a mini I bought for my wife for her birthday. But I have a stage one performance kit for it for a thousand cc motor. It makes no sense. But I also have this. It's all shiny. A new motor to go in it so i've got to build that who would be interested in seeing a time lapse of pete the computer technician putting together a mini motor and seeing if he can get it started it'll be fun and i'm probably going to do it anyway anyway let's get back to it let's do that first reassembled the rig and it's about 72 hours since i finished that last video or disconnected it and it's 0 0.005 volt so what have i got this time i've got the battery that I tested last time, um, that's an untested battery in the same orientation beside each other at the same time. I don't actually need the multimeter on there, that's just for consistency. Plug in the power there. Rightio. You can't see anything on the eye charger because of the, the glare. Turn that on. Now what I'll do is, before I turn that on, you always look heaps more professional when you have the power plugged in when you go to turn it on. This test, we're gonna turn that up a bit. Turn the amps up to 10 amps. There's 77 cells divided by 10 amps is not very much amps, radio. That's gonna say it's too low, I can't charge and turn back off again. Oh yeah, come back in a little while. It's in, we've got 29.6 degrees on that one. Floats around a little bit, of course. And that one's a good two degrees warmer. The temperature differential isn't very good with the two cells on this particular camera, but you can definitely see that this one's hotter. So we're still about three hours. I was just about to run away and I thought that's 17.8 volts, so the eye charger should work now. So we've got about just under three volts on each cell. So I wonder what happens at three hours if I turn this off. It's slowly dropping away. can't even hold it I'm shaking wonder if that eye charge is good enough to actually hold that amperage there ah we'll find out we'll let that go for a little while and if it stops we'll call it the end of the test for now and see what it is in a few hours time now as a few of you said this one can drain power apparently so I'll disconnect one of them so that can't drain any power See what happens. 48. Definitely looks like the cells in the middle are getting that um that heat from the, the accumulated heat from the entire cell. So definitely not good and you can put your hand on it now and you can feel it's it's warm, it's not hot to touch. Get rid of the thermal camera here, you can see me. I was just trying to work out how I could hook up the water cooling pipes and stuff but I don't have enough fitment and what do you call it clamps for it so that wasn't going to work anyway but what have we got let's have a look so we're four hours and ten minutes we started this at uh, about nine o'clock this morning there's no way that that worked there's no way I mean it's dropping a little bit
There's no friggin' way that that worked. What happens when I try and charge it again? I'll be. I'm sorry, I am stunned. I didn't think that would work for a second. Now let's turn that off. I'll stop looking like a stunned chicken. Leave it off for a couple of hours and we'll come back to it. So what's the time now? The time is quarter past one. So we'll come back in maybe five o'clock this afternoon and have a look what that voltage is. The batteries were a little bit too hot, so I did end up putting the water cooling on. We got 28 degrees. So we'll just turn that tap on real slowly. I got most of the coolant out the other day. It was hot enough to touch that I was a little bit concerned actually. Come on. Under 40 degrees, 100 Fahrenheit for you non Aussies. The liquid inside the cooling loop there was 45 ish degrees, and it's still coming out warm there now. So, there we go. We'll just run a little bit of water through that, just a tiny bit, in order to cool that battery down and make it safe again. Hey, right, welcome back. I just couldn't give up on it. I turned it all back on again. As you saw, the battery got a little bit hot. So what I've done now is, they were about how dodgy this looks, right? We've got a garden hose getting out of the battery. And then I've just got it pouring out into that and then into a thermometer, just so I can monitor the temperature coming out. And that water's not even warm now. So I think it's, I think the actual temperature was coming the initial charge and getting over that resistance in the battery but now it seems to be perfectly cool so we are ooh, seven hours i had to do maths in my head we're seven hours in and we're charging what four amps there and three and a half amps there i'm only doing that one to get it done a little bit quicker because i'm having trouble with that little dell uh, power brick off a laptop which is running the eye charger and it keeps overheating which is ironic Everything's overheating. But anyways, I'll see you soon. 10 o'clock in the evening. She's dark out, there's a moon up there. Um, we've been going for 13 hours. Check this out for pretty cool. 3.6, 3.59, 62 volts spread. Get in, doing really, really well. The battery's recharging. Now, it's, that's not all there is to the story. I've got a bucket here, and I've been water cooling, that, and been filling that bucket up every two hours, trying to keep these cells cool. Yes, cool. The other one's gone back inside because I'm not sure about the weather. But I've got this jacked up. It's a nice, cool evening. I haven't got the thermometer out here, but she's pretty cool. Now, let's grab the thermal camera and see everything that is wrong with this setup. Now I bet if I turn this eye charger off now, it's 
stop it from charging. We're going to come back out here in the morning and it's going to be dead. It's dropping down but nowhere near as fast as it was yesterday or well, in the test three or four days ago. Anyway, we'll leave that like that for now. I'll come back say five or six o'clock in the morning and see what it's like. Well, tubers, it's been a good couple of days doing this test and there was times there where I was excited and times there where I, I was almost depressed. But at the end of the day, we have a result. And the result is you could use this battery to cook eggs and not by powering a cooktop, just by charging it. It is gone and there is no coming back from it. I don't care if you use a welder to charge it, good luck or hope. It's not coming back to life. Let me show you what I found. The thermal camera really does tell the story on this one. Um, it last night it was at 22 or 23 volts. And this morning, right now, um, about seven, eight hours later, it's at 16 and a half volts. And look at that heat. It hasn't been charging for hours. It's eight o'clock and seven o'clock in the morning now, five o'clock. So two hours ago, I turned off the water cooling. Okay, look at that. Doesn't matter which way you look at this, all those cells are smoking hot. Lift up the plastic. You lift up the plastic and you sort of get a better look. There is some proper hot cells there. She is gone and she's not coming back. Look at that. Cell one, we've got 3.3 .3 volts. Cell 2, we've got 1.7. If you compare that to last night's results, that's not looking good at all. So we'll just let that sit there now for another couple of hours. And then come back to it, because I'm going to have to let it discharge so I can dispose of the um, cell. We are a full two days after completing the tests. Um, the battery's just come back inside. As promised, the Tesla power wall is gone from there and is up there now. Um, I was going to put it here, but that meant I had to move that. So it's up there. So that looks cool. Still don't know what I'm going to do with that. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look. That is one heck of a nail in the coffin for this cell. 4.2 volts. Oh, we got a 180 and 650 fully charged. Um, <laughs> and look at the spread, half uh, 500 milliamp spread between all the cells there. So that battery is never happening again. But anyway, tubers, thank you very much for tuning in. If you made it this far, please hit that like button. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe because I can't do this without you. And I'll see you on the next one.